the funny woman who demanded that Hollywood take her seriously. Meet Melissa McCarthy. Born in 1970 to a farming family in Plainfield, Illinois, Melissa moved to New York at 20 in search of an acting career. Is it true you had $45 or I think something I had like that? Oh, it was 35. Yeah. I don't, I, think I, I don't think I went into the 40s. <laughs> Fancy pants here. <laughs> she had trouble breaking out of the New York comedy scene, so decided to try her luck in LA, where she found work doing everything except acting. I shut clams. Uh, I was a waiter for 900 years. I was a nanny. I worked in retail, I worked in restaurants, I worked in a nursing home. She finally landed her first TV gig, a small role on an episode of her cousin Jenny McCarthy's MTV show. But just shy of 30, Melissa still didn't have any consistent acting roles on her resume. She was about to give up when she was cast as Suki St. James on Gilmore Girls. What do you think is the most romantic vegetable? The show was a hit and put Melissa on the map. But in 2011, a little movie called Bridesmaids made her a star. You must be Annie's fella. I'm not, he's not, I'm not with him. I'm glad he's single, because I'm gonna climb that like a tree. Bridesmaids made close to $300 million and earned Melissa an unexpected Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. She followed it up with a string of blockbuster comedies and by 2016 was the second highest paid actress in the world, partly due to advocating for equal pay. But despite McCarthy's personal success, a huge anti-Ghostbusters campaign erupted on social media, mostly fueled by male fans. If a movie, tw you know, 35 years later is ruining your childhood, don't blame us. Meanwhile, Melissa stayed away from supporting roles. What point of view do you have when nine out of 10 of your lines are, oh, Jim? Instead, she turned to drama, earning a second Academy Award nomination in 2019 as writer Lee Israel in Can You Ever Forgive Me? But when times demand it, she's still available for comedy. Now I'd like to begin today by apologizing on behalf of you to me. <laughs> Melissa McCarthy taking on Hollywood her way. Every time someone tries to tell you what you can't do, that is the first person to ignore. <laughs>